Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and Gaming 36 has already started and this is looking at what happened in Gaming 35. But I couldn't get the video out before now because Gaming 35 finished the day before Gaming 36 started. So I've no idea if five or ten people are going to watch this but I'm doing it anyway. All right, let's see what happened. Top scorer in the Midnight Mule Mini League was Ron Koo with Shinobi with 103 points. And that was managed with Captain Palmer 16, Vardio 15, Isaac 13, Havertz 13, Petrovic 11, Gordon 10, Jackson 8, Sun 9 and Harland 5. And then on the bench, nothing. Anana 4, but Petrovic was better than that. So very nice score. And top of our league, and sorry for all the greys and zeros here, that's because by the time I screenshotted it, Game Week 36 had started was Zayed Bramham, he's top with Tien Guna, they managed 85 points. That was with Captain Palmer 16, Vardiel 15, Isaac 13, Petrovic 11, Gordon 10, Sun 9, Haaland 5. And then on the bench, nothing. And I always like to see a bench like that. Unless you're bench boosting, of course, then you don't want a bench like that. As for me, okay, I didn't have such a good week. I got 76 points. Now, compared to the other content creators, I don't go silly over the double game weeks. If it's worth hitting double game week players, I do it. But I went into this game week with only two doublers, whereas most of them had five, possibly six. And I would have got a nice green, except I made the mistake of watching Oscar. But it's not his fault. So FPL Focal. Often the deadline screens streams, I'll have maybe three or four of the guys that are doing the live stuff playing and I'll have all but one muted. I'll listen to one for a while then I might flip between them. Sometimes I have two playing at the same time audibly and I'm listening to what both of them are saying just just for the entertainment side. But Oscar was saying oh he's got a leak coming he's going to release it like uh, an hour before the deadline of the Liverpool lineup. Might have been half an hour before the deadline I'm not sure. But anyway so here he is here's the point and if we look at that thing, he said Salah, Darwin and Robertson are all benched. And I had all three of those players. Now, I was going to move on Salah and Darwin anyway. I had two free transfers. But with Robertson benched, that meant I was a defender short because I already had Gusto, who I thought wasn't going to play, and he didn't. And I think Aiton Nori was a doubt as well. So I thought, I need to get another defender in. So I took a minus four because we didn't even know if Robertson was even going to get on the pitch. So I did it just before the deadline, got a minus four and brought in Dallow. And of course, Robertson got nine points. Dallow got two, but it cost me a minus four. So that's a swing of 11 points. So I was on a red for two points, but it should have been a green for nine. And that was a green for nine with only two, uh, two doublers. Now, there's two important reasons why this is absolutely not Oscar's fault and it's all on me. The first one is you got to take ownership and responsibility for what you do in life. Even if it's based on someone else's advice or what you hear elsewhere, you're still responsible for your actions. That's true in life and it's true in FPL. And when you get old like me, you'd have made loads more decisions that are bad than when you're younger. And the second reason it's not the focal's fault is um, a bit later he corrected it and said, oh no, Robertson starts. But I missed that because I think I had FPL Harry playing at the time. So... There's about 20 minutes warning where if I'd gone back to look at Oscar's stream, I would have seen that Robertson was actually starting and wasn't benched. So that's entirely on me and it's my fault. But there, there we go. <laughs> so the team I had in the end was Havertz 13, Isaac 13, Captain Palmer 16, Gordon 10, Petrovic 11 and that's all. And on the bench, Pickford for 10, but Petrovic was better. And there we have Robertson for his nine. So it doesn't matter too much because we're near the end of the season. Where I am in my leagues that matter, I'm not going to move much anyway. And it's OK. And I've had a fun season. So it's just, just another thing to learn. I, I like Oscar. I'm sure I'll see him again soon. I got a small red arrow, so that's not too bad, everything considered. And I'm now 313 from top spot. So if I can outscore top by 105 points each week between now and the end of the season, I can still win the whole thing. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos, especially if you're watching this one, because it's about Game Week 35 and people are already posting about Game Week 37. 
So in the cup game, we've been watching Pranav Rane with Action Jackson. That's who we're following. And he was playing Gary Carter with Get Carter. And it was Pranav that won. He got 96 points. So let's look at his team. That was Captain Sun for 18, Vardio 15, then Izak 13, Petrovic 11, Gordon 10, Jackson 8, Palmer 8, and Harlem 5. Then on the bench, Pickford for 10, but Petrovic was better. Branthwaite for 6, but it was fair enough, he was played. And so in the next game week, we know he's going to be playing Marcin Dogonski with Mardog. So whichever one of those gets through, that's the team we'll look at next week. In the, uh, what's this called, Fantasy Challenge, I think it's called, Lucy Himes top again. She was top scorer, so well done with Snap, Crackle and Pope with 144 points. That was with... Palmer 32 as captain, Havertz 26, Petrovic 22, Sun 18, Jackson 16, Munez 12. Then the only points on the bench to talk of was Romero with 16. FPL Game Week, if you go there, you can look at the Content Creators League. And there's quite a few people here I like to follow and chat with, etc. Ben Krellin still top. Good old Harry's down in third. Fran's down in sixth. As for me, I'd be all the way in 56th now, which is just two points above Heisenberg and is a massive 12 behind FPL, mate. So the team that I have put out for Game Week 36, we have Harland as captain. So he gets to wear the old mule hat. And his mate Foden, they're at home to Wolves. Then the Vice is on Palmer at home to West Ham with his mate Petrovic in goal. I have White at home to Bournemouth with his mate Havertz in midfield. I've got Robertson at home to Tottenham. Let's hope Tottenham can't score again. That'd be nice for me if Robertson plays. And then Dallow's away to Palace with his mate Fernandes, who may be injured, we don't know. And then Gordon's away to Burnley with his mate Isaac. And then on the bench, I've got Pickford away to Luton. That's already played. That was a 1-1 draw. Hoyland away to Palace. So he'll be coming in if Fernandes isn't any good. And then Trippier... He's almost certainly not going to play, but I'm keeping him anyway. And then Nathan Nori away to Man City. So, yeah, and that's what we have. As for the background picture, as you may be aware, today's Star Wars Day. So I thought I'd have some stormtroopers having a game of football while they're battling the rebellion. <laughs> so may the fourth be with you. And there we have it. That's what happened in Game Week 35 and what I'm doing in Game Week 36. Thank you very much for watching this rather late video. And hopefully I get a video out in better time next game week. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>